I would now like to introduce the candidates for the school board director one. They are in alphabetical order, Heather Kinsley and Mike Massey. Each of you have one and a half minutes for an opening statement. Mrs. Ms. Kinsley, you're up first. Well, I don't know if this makes a difference, if you can hear me in the back. Um, first of all, let me say thank you to the sponsors for making this opportunity available to us. It's a great opportunity to become a little bit more visible to the community as we get closer to Election Day. My name is Heather Kinsley, and I am running to retain my position as um, position number one on the Kennewick School District Board of Directors. I've held that position for eight years. And um, the primary reason why I'm looking to retain my position is because I am a dedicated public servant in both my professional and personal life. I have worked for local government since my graduation from law school in 2004. I am a, um, a Kennewick girl. I was born in this community. I went to Eastgate Elementary. I went to Park Middle School. I went to Kennewick High School. Mr. Ryle took my senior picture. Um, <laughs> and very much an Eastern Washington girl. I went to WSU Pullman for my undergrad degree and Gonzaga School of Law for my law degree. And so I'm very much committed to Eastern Washington, very much committed to this community and am raising a family here. So my dedication to the community is probably obvious from, you know, I feel a little bit like I'm beaming about it. Um, so I have a unique perspective given the fact that I do work for local government. I'm currently the city attorney for the city of Richland and I have a lot of insight into how um, local entities, local government entities operate. And so I'm a dedicated public servant. The other primary reason is I now have two beautiful children in the school district, and I want to continue for their behalf as well. Thank you, Ms. Kinsley. Mr. Massey, your opening statement, please. Well, this is my first campaign. My name is uh, Mike Massey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I was educated at Cornell University, uh, worked as a commercial lender in Bellevue, uh, before uh, currently I'm a general manager in an agribusiness for 10 years here in this community. Uh, I'm a father of four daughters. I've got three which are in, in Kennewick school system and I've got one in college now. Uh, my biggest issue uh, is closing the achievement gap. Right now test scores are abysmal. Uh, I evaluated the OSPI uh, three-year Washington State report card. District-wide in every grade, third through eighth, we fall below average as compared to the average state scores in math and English language arts. Accountability needs to be the biggest issue here. I see the district as a big ship. The role of the school board is to set the course. The superintendent drives the, the ship and hires a good crew. I'm saying the direction of our ship needs to change. Accountability, how do we get there? Our current system or direction is designed to push students through a program. We have to be honest with ourselves. Are these kids ready for the next grade level? If they are, move them up. If they're not ready, hold them back until they are ready. But accountability can be a real problem for administrators to work through and more work for parents and teachers, but we can succeed. Mr. Thank Massey. You. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to our questions for these candidates. Ms. Kinsley, alphabetical order, you are up first. Do you think the Kennewick School Board is sufficiently transparent? Are there more steps that could be taken to create more transparency? And how can more input be solicited from parents and community members? Transparency in local government is a huge issue. And currently, I think there's um, a big push in a lot of different venues around our region to promote transparency. We have a lot of citizens coming forward craving transparency and looking for opportunities to be part of the decision-making process, or at least being given a, a fair opportunity to provide good input. The Kennewick School District, I think, does a, a great job in terms of making information available and welcoming public input. We um, provide a lot of information on our website. We are very responsive to public records requests. There's um, lots of opportunity for public comment at our meetings. 
I can't imagine or think of any instances where we have been um, reticent to share information. The things that we don't publish to the public are things that need to be kept um, confidential until the time is right to be shared, such as litigation decisions and things of that nature. But we definitely welcome transparency and the opportunity to engage with the parents and the citizens in our community because it's it's you whom we serve, and it's your direction that we want to um, carry forward as we look for ways to um, improve in our district. And so in terms of making information available, um, I definitely believe in transparency, and I think the district's doing a really good job. Thank you, Ms. Kinsley, pardon me. Mr. Massey. Well, this is my opportunity to thank um, Heather for her good work here on the school board. Um, I think that I've been to a few of the school board meetings and I, I'm very pleased with what the board's been doing. I just I think our direction is not going the right in the right way. We've got to turn the ship so we can educate our kids. This is this is a highly important issue. Um, we've you know when I went to school we had uh, if you didn't if you didn't meet the standards or you weren't getting the allocated resources you know, the human capital that was invested in the kids, we held them back to make the, the school district accountable. That's key. And I don't know if that's, be, I, I don't think that's being done now since I've seen the scores and we're below the state average and we are 50% uh, making the grade. Thank you, Mr. Massey. You are up first on this next question. How do you see your role in implementing the laws passed by the state legislature from, on behalf of Kennewick students and public education? Well, I'm, I'm involved in, in a political party, so I do meet a lot of the state representatives and the state senators. If there's a concern that, that we come up with uh, in the district, I will be the first one to to call them, I've got them on my speed dial, and uh, work on um, getting any laws that we need to change or, or improve, uh, um, get that uh, taken care of. So I, I've got a good rapport with our state reps, uh, Sharon Brown and, 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 and the others. So I, I'd be a very good pro advocate in getting what we need to get done in Olympia. Ms. Kinsley? Would you be willing to repeat the question? Yes, ma'am. How do you see your role in implementing the laws passed by the state legislature on behalf of Kennewick students and public education? So when a new law comes out, and we've had a couple of big ones that have um, had significant impact on the district, and the McCleary decision is one of those where we still grapple with funding and how school districts should be funded statewide. Our board spends a lot of time with our administration, and we have phenomenal administrators in the district. We spend a lot of time dissecting what those, what those laws say, what the expectations are, and communicating with OSPI to better understand how to implement the new directives. Um, it, it takes time. A lot of times what comes out of Olympia is dense, and it has to be digested. It has to be understood. The practical implementation of it needs to really be analyzed before we can take steps in the right direction. But we have the right, um, the right administrators in place to really understand what we need to do. And we have great relationships with our local representatives. They've done a, a great job trying to solve what is a very challenging problem, the idea of, of publicly funded education to the level that we need in order to provide adequate education and opportunity. It's not easy. And so we commend the efforts that have been made so far. We think that there are some tweaks to um, the recent bills that came out relative to the, to the McCleary decision that will make it better, make it easier for local jurisdictions to still be able to provide the services that they want to provide um, in light of some of the restrictions on funding. But my role is to oversee and to ensure that our administrators are taking the time to understand those laws and to make sure that they are being properly implemented. Ms. Kinsley, you're up first again. As a school board member, where will you or do you turn for information in order to make decisions that are best for all Kennewick students, even while realizing that each individual is unique? One of the most useful tools I think the district uses is a survey mechanism. We want to hear from parents. We want to understand how the decisions we're making impact 
the families who we serve. And now that I have two young ones in the district, when I first got on the, on the board in 2009, I didn't have any children, and now I have two beautiful little children. I understand what it's like to be a parent and to get notices in the mail saying, guess what, we're moving your boundary, or guess what, we are changing the way we enroll, or guess what, you have this, this conference you need to come to and we've switched the schedule. So one of the most useful tools we use is a survey tool and we want to hear, we want to get community feedback because we want to make the decisions that will serve the majority of, of, of our constituents. Um, you can't always please everybody. There will always be somebody with a unique circumstance who will not be satisfied. And we want to do everything we can do to accommodate um, to the extent we can. And our, again, our administrators are phenomenal in the efforts they go to to try to find solutions to the unique problems. Um, but I very much enjoy and appreciate community feedback and survey tools as one of the mechanisms that I look to. Mr. Massey? I've received some of the information from the Kennewick School District. I've been pleased. I've been pleased uh, with a lot of things that the district does. All right, you're up first again. The Kennewick, Richland, and Pasco School Districts operate the Delta STEM High School jointly. What is the level of your support for STEM schools in general? And do you think the current way of choosing qualified students in a lottery way is the best way to determine who attends? Please explain your rationale. Well, I'm, I'm a firm believer in school choice and, and with the district giving the school choice like the bilingual uh, education program and the Delta education program, I, I think this is, this, is, this is a good step. I think it can go further into looking at charter schools. I think uh, we can investigate that, see if it works, cost-benefit ratio. Uh, and, uh, but with the Delta thing, I don't really like the lottery, and I'm not a fan of that. I think it really needs to be um, academic-based or assessed with the, with the ability of the students to come in. Ms. Kinsley. Delta's wonderful, and we're very, very, very proud of the partnership that we have with Richland and Pasco. Um, to create that school, and with our community partners, um, Battelle, PNNL, and the other, um, the other industry, the businesses who came forward and contributed money to make Delta possible. So I can't say enough good things about Delta. My niece goes there, and I, I know that she was chosen as a consequence of a lottery. She's um, very bright and has the academic aptitude, but the great thing about Delta is that it's a community of students who are similar in nature, looking for an educational experience that is outside the traditional learning experience. These are students who do a better job with hands-on learning, with experiments, and um, don't, don't really thrive in the textbook scenario. And so I've contributed many hours um, volunteering, judging projects for Delta, and doing other types of um, engagement with the students. And you can tell that it's a community of a unique type of student. And so if we limited it from a lottery to just a purely academic-based eligibility, I think you would lose some of that unique um, mix of student. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the children who choose to go there, the students who choose to go there, put their name in the hat because they believe it's the right fit for them. And we don't limit it in any other way other than your ability to be lucky enough to have your name drawn. And as I'm aware, the students who have been um, chosen have committed and they stay through the four years because of the unique programming. Um, and yes, I believe there is a wait list, but we, again, do our best to accommodate and it seems to work out. So I would prefer to keep it that way. Thank you, Ms. Kinsley. Let's all give these candidates a big round of applause.